Meanwhile, some students in Pasco County are now heading back to school with the latest technology at their fingertips. And we found out it's new iPads and laptops are really just the beginning. Yeah, right? ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella found out schools are taking action for their kids to give them an edge on state tests and in the real world. New innovations like being able to write, write on your desk, helps make dry subjects a little bit more fun. It also helps kids work through mistakes and helps them perform better on state tests. Your average typical classroom has been transformed at Shady Hills Elementary in Pasco County. Throughout the past two years, nearly every aspect has been remodeled. And now we have it opened up, brightened. Now awaits a new world of innovation for students. Apple technology is set up in almost every sector of the school. Our hope is that our students will come out and they'll use this space to work collaboratively and then project that onto the Apple TV with their laptops or their iPads. This media center is where kids will work in teams and problem solve math, science, and more. I think this one of the shifts for us is it's student centered now. You know, the teachers are going to set up the um, conditions for learning, but we're going to turn a lot of that hard work over to them. These educators feel these technology upgrades shows a shift in how they teach by guiding kids to think critically for jobs of the future. We want them to be able to come up with their own solutions. Down the hall, the newly stocked computer lab will also offer tools to keep kids smart and current. We do allow students to bring their devices to school. And then this Wi-Fi capability will allow them to not only use our resources here at school, but their own that they bring from home. The thought is that if kids are using this technology regularly, they'll be ready when it comes time to use it on state tests. Because they're going to be in here working on the computers and having technology all the time. Students will fill these empty classrooms within two weeks. All of this brand new innovative technology will be ready for students to use day one. Keeping you updated for back to school, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.